How is this awful comic the basis of an entire storytelling trope and the catalyst of one of the best-selling comics of all time? Internet historian slash rapper Professor Jelly here, and today we're talking about the most hated Far Side comic of all time, Cow Tolls. The Far Side is one of the most successful comics of all time, with the 23 collected books of Far Side cartoons selling over 45 million copies. For reference, that's more than To Kill a Mockingbird. And that's not even including the hundreds of millions of gift cards, posters, and other merchandise that have been sold in that period. And in addition to his commercial success, creator Gary Larson has been praised throughout his entire career for his storytelling ability in one of the most artistically limiting formats. But we're not here today to talk about the good ones. No. We're here to dig up the disgusting failures and put them under a microscope. In particular, this one, Cow Tolls. Now, if you're not familiar with this comic and the associated lore, I want you to take a good look at this, try and figure out what the joke is. You get it? Yeah, it's, uh... What is this? Okay, so let me try and analyze this one to the best of my ability. We have a cow, we have a barn, a handsaw, a rod, um, like an udder with, uh, one teat, a, a, a lemon, question mark? How are these cow tools? Was the barn and the bench made from the cow tools? Are they made out of cow? This isn't even a cow, it's got horns. What's going on here? These and thousands of other questions flooded the offices of Gary Larson and his publishers immediately after Cow Tools was put out. The outpouring of confusion was so bad that Gary Larson had to put out a press statement to address like public safety on cow tools. Occasionally, between the time I first conceive a certain idea and the final product, something goes awry. Judging by the number of calls from puzzled readers, including my own mother, this happened with my recent cow cartoon. The cartoon was intended to be an exercise in silliness. While I have never met a cow who could make tools, I felt that if I did, they, the tools, would lack something in sophistication and resemble the sorry specimens shown in this cartoon. I regret that my fondness for cows, combined with an overactive imagination, may have carried me beyond what is comprehensible to the average far side reader. But even with the mitigating explanation from Larson, Cow Tools was so confusing that Far Side took a huge dip in popularity and really began to flounder. Except for that it actually didn't happen, and it immediately became infinitely more successful. When Cow Tools was put out, Far Side was in 70 comics. Two years later, it was in 200. How? How? How could a sketch on bovine tool time propel a comic to 300% growth? How? Well, as you may know if you've ever tried to start a business or create something, one of the hardest things that you can do in the beginning is get your name out to the general public. The cow tools debacle was such an issue that Farsight got brought up by everybody. By the end of it, I'm sure that they had billboards up in Times Square asking if you knew what this comic meant. If this had been just a strange painting of a cow at a modern art exhibit, no one would have mentioned it. Or if instead of cow tools, the caption said, these tools are utterly useless, then it would have just been a mediocre comic that no one would have talked about. By failing so much to tell a joke, cow tools actually becomes intriguing, like it's asking you to figure it out. In response to these shenanigans, cow tools has become one of the most memed things of all time. Its infamy has grown to the point where it has its own dedicated Wikipedia page, which may make it the only single comic to have its own dedicated page. Once again, this was not intentional on Larson's part. The meaninglessness found in these tools has actually founded the whole trope called Cow Tool, describing meaningless items found throughout media. Recently, after a 25 year hiatus, Gary has actually started drawing comics again. And while I think anything is possible, I would not hold your breath for a sequel to Cow Tools. Thank you for watching. This has been Professor Jelly. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more weird history like it, please subscribe. Thank you.